video you will be learning about sap today we are going to understand what is success factor we uh, uh, i think we already know this thing success factor is a sap company okay uh before 2011 success factor was a different company and uh, in 2011 sap acquired success factor and it it become the sap company right okay so success factor is purely dedicated application for human resource management okay it is on cloud based okay so success factor is a cloud based business solution designed especially to meet the end of enterprise class organization small and medium business okay so it means like uh, if you want to maintain your human resource record okay on cloud then you need get the success factor implemented okay so focusing on providing the solution that the people across your organization need to help improve business executing and get better results okay so why you need this success factor you uh, because if you need to maintain employee master data okay on cloud and you you need 100% accuracy okay and uh, the main benefit of this success factor application or any sap application okay so it is a integrated information system okay so integrated information system means suppose if you change something in one department so data the change will reflect or the data the change data or the updated data will reflect in another department okay so you don't need to uh, go again and again for changing the data in a different different department or because of this integrated information system information will flow within all the relevant departments okay so success factor is a global leader in business acquisition software the success factor business acquisition business acquisition in big x suits improve business alignment and people perform to drive break through result for companies of all size we know we have a different size of companies right small medium uh, or large organizations fine uh, the, so the success factor is suitable for all kind of companies okay all size of companies so success factor is a cloud based talent management solution market leader so business acquisition is this x okay so maybe in interview they will ask you about they will they, they will just repeat this term this x this x so, so you should uh, know this thing this x means business acquisition okay so in the name of the cloud scm scm means human capital management suits offered by success factor okay as we know already success factor is purely dedicated human capital management applications okay so sap offers success factor solution both as a standalone solution as well as hybrid solution but now we should understand what is the meaning of a standalone solution a standalone solution means a organization using only one application which is success factor okay so there is no other application no sap nothing okay hybrid solution when it is a combination of two application okay so just take example uh, uh, we know this thing like uh, uh, cloud based platform is a new platform okay so before this we have on premises platform like sap so we have sap we have human resource management in sap as well right so that is on premises platform so now company is moving towards a, uh, on cloud based solution okay so suppose your company doesn't want this thing uh, some modules on cloud okay so they have some modules on premises and they just want to continue with those things okay but they want just add some new modules okay uh, on uh, uh, cloud okay so they for that they will implement success factor but rest of the thing they don't want to implement the success factor it means they that company is using two application okay one is something in sap on premises and something is on cloud and success factor okay so we call it hybrid solution okay so where success factor can be integrated with on premises sap sap solution the same thing is written here which i explained okay so uh, uh understand one thing uh, what is uh, so you understood the basic concept regarding what is success factor okay so it's just a good to know information okay so success factor are the market leading provider of cloud based human capital management okay uh, who in december 2011 were acquired by sap i already told you this thing 
for an enterprise value of approximately 3.4 billion the combination of sap uh, remember when the company in mostly company is using hybrid solution okay so the combination of sap and success factor establish an advanced end to end offering of cloud on premises solution for managing all relevant hr business process so we know this thing uh, as a as a hr we have a different different work right maybe you will part of training team maybe you will will part of admin team uh, journalist hr journalist recruiter okay so all the process all the business process related to hr can managed by success factor okay currently success factor has more than 20 million subscribers and 3600 customer in 168 countries in 35 language supported okay so it means like uh, it is not in english only okay so there are so many languages you need to activate the languages pack in class we will learn how to activate these things because these things are related to the configuration we are not going to learn any configuration in this session we are just going to understand what is success factor okay so see uh we know like we are, the company is using hybrid solution so now we will understand uh, what is the difference between sap and success factor okay so success factor is uh, 40 plus year developing erp system okay so it is based on the erp business so see let me tell you one thing sap has a different different business suits like erp supply chain management customer relationship management okay so hr sap hr is part of erp okay so 15000 live global sm customers we have it's a revenue okay uh, number and it's a 80 million plus erp user 37 language 86 countries okay uh, countries versions okay so now in success factor 11 year experience on cloud 3600 customer 500 million in review uh, re sorry revenue okay 20 million uh, cloud uh, users okay so we have 34 language 168 country okay so it is good to know information okay about this okay so uh, how many users or companies are using sap and how many users and company are using success factor okay so, so you can assume this thing like success factor is uh, uh, like um, uh, most prominent application okay in human resource management field right so sap plus success factor okay so delivering a combination of unique capabilities so uh, we know this thing like company are using hybrid solutions right okay so uh, in sap number one is a core you core hr and plus talent management success success factor we have a talent management right so it just to good to know information again okay so uh, more uh, it's like scm customer 15000 scm customer okay or uh, we can uh, you can just read it okay so there is nothing which i need to explain so i'm just skipping this slide okay so now understand what is sap success factor cloud solution sas as is sas means software as a services okay so we call it on demand as well okay so on demand means software as a services okay so is uh, is the next generation enterprise software offered as services and the cloud the software and customer data is hosted remotely and access on demand from any location using the unique login credential of organization see in sap what you have to do you need to log in because it's a on premise solution okay so in, in you need to log in server okay so suppose in this laptop if i don't have sap installation so i cannot log in okay uh, because it's it's uh, it's a on premise solution but uh, there is a benefit on cloud okay so suppose uh, i have five or six laptop okay but i can use uh, from anywhere because I, what what i do i have what i get i get one link i i'll get this user id and password so you don't need to install you don't need to maintain server or security rooms and all okay so you can easily log in okay from a mobile from any laptop from any desktop from anywhere okay so advantage of sas okay so we should understand what are the advantage of sas so no hardware or maintenance uh, requirement maintenance required subscription based license model multi tenant platform okay so means like multiple people can use it okay so regular release bug fix update and enhancement so these are related to the upgrade center okay so whatever bug uh, important bug fix you will get the notification for that you will get update for that if there is any enhancement program you will get update for that okay so regular release means like um, uh, 
लाइक आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स और फोर मंथ थ्री स्पेशली आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स ओके सो यू विल गेट सम न्यू अपडेट्स ओके सो न्यू रिलीज राइट ओके सो दैट्स अ रीजन a success factor uh, you should give your certif if you are planning to give certification you should give your certification after new release okay then access from anywhere we know this thing consists performance and stability so success factor are broadly classified into four category one is core hr solution another is talent solution then hr analytic and social collaboration so core hr solution means we have employee central employee central payroll and time management comes under this employee center okay uh, talent solutions it means we have a different different module we have a under the different different category we have a different different module so first you should understand in which category you want to get your training and in which module okay so talent solution we have performance and goal compensation management variable pay learning solution succession management recruitment onboarding hr analytical part we have a different workforce analytical and workforce planning social collaboration sap jam we have so these are the different different module okay so as per your requirement you will choose the category and under this category you will choose the module remember one thing for success factor you need to opt one module and for each and every module we have a different kind of certification okay like in sap hr just you need to give certification for sap hr right okay but in success factor you need to choose for which module you want to give certification because we have a different code for each and every certification okay so uh, this is the uh, uh the business ex execution suit okay so it is employee central employee central is related to core human resource management it you can say it's it's like uh, here you will create organization structure enterprise structure you will manage your employees or you will create a master data okay so talent management we have this thing in talent management we have collaboration we know this thing we have analytical parts part okay so next core hr is employee central okay so very basic very important module in success factor okay so uh, <clears throat> these are some <coughs> uh, features okay on premises solution and cloud solution <coughs> so hr core we have the rp scm performance and goal management yes we have in success factor and scm both composition we have recruitment we have learning social talent management we don't have okay so social talent talent management is jam workforce planning we don't have in on premises uh, we have only in success factor okay workforce analytical mobile uh, mobile uh, cms we have on both the modules okay so see these are some screenshots okay related to your uh, different different module this screenshot is related to performance management it okay it is for like reporting part it is for succession organization chart okay these are the different different module okay it is uh, uh this is screenshot related to the succession again succession okay so these are the this is for employee center where you can view employee profile okay so sap on premises and sap on cloud okay so under the talent management on premises we have employee self service manager self service pa om and payroll and and in success factor we have a, a success factor employee center and cloud payroll okay so it's an administrative tool okay so you can you can will create each and everything from here we will learn this in how to configure in training fine uh, so it's a platform application platform okay so platform is be object based so success factor is based on the form templates okay so we need to create some objects right okay and for each and every objects we have templates forms okay so we need to create objects in templates right we will learn this thing also uh then see success factor has two type of system one is provisioning and another is instance okay so provisioning system is the back end system where you will activate or inactivate or enable or disable something okay as per your blueprint as per your business requirement then we have metadata framework okay metadata for mdf objects you will create you will just provide the limit okay so 25 mdf object you can create okay so what is mdf object uh, okay so 
what is mdf object mdf object is a generic object okay so data model how you will maintain the data okay uh, you will maintain here okay uh, then instance instance is the front end system okay so see it is the instance system this one this is the instance system okay admin tool is instance system so you will do all the configuration customization as per the customer need in instance okay so provisioning you will use only for enabling or disabling the thing but instance you will use for configuration okay so integration details okay so uh, see we have uh, two suits okay right compromise and cloud if you want to and normally we already told you i sorry i already told you like uh, we have a hybrid solution for this right okay so it means you are using both the thing on premises and cloud this thing you will understand this thing better in uh, practical sessions right okay so but just introduction so that you can understand what you are going to learn okay <clears throat> so we have a different different integrated applications as well like dell boom is one integrated application so okay so these are the company who are uh, which are using success factor fine so it is just all about the introduction of success factor thank you